Our next tutorial section is Baggage Security Tier 1, and that's rather appropriate because I'm now getting warnings about dangerous baggage. The tutorial only ever covers Tier 1, and I intend to cover all three tiers in these videos. Step 1, of course, is doing the research. So I'm going to get that underway, and I will come back to you once it's done. In the meantime, I'm also going to research high-speed conveyor belts because I'm concerned that the time it takes for bags to get from one part of my airport to another may be contributing to slow loading times on my planes. Baggage Security Tier 1 has just finished. Let's immediately start researching Level 2. And get to actually constructing that. I mentioned in the last episode I was reserving this space for baggage security. That is going to cover the small side of my airport. So now that we've finished research both on tilt trays, which I did in the last video, and security, we have some new options in here. Starting with baggage scanner one. This is an automated robotic check of whether a bag is safe or not and you want to have that at the start of your system so I'm going to place it here and I'm going to get out of planning mode do that again and then I'm going to connect up my conveyor belt in such a way that bags are fed into that spot which means I no longer want this section of the conveyor belt. If a bag is deemed by this scanner to be okay, it will come out this side. If it is deemed to be a problem, it will come out this side. So, good bags go to the top and can be routed back around like so. Now you'll note I'm leaving quite a bit of room here. That's intentional. When we move up to level two, there's gonna be a lot of extra scanners to incorporate, and level three, there's yet another scanner, and I may not even have enough room here. For the moment though, I'm just going to pretend that there's only going to be tier one, and it's gonna go straight across here. So any bag which is deemed unsafe gets destroyed. Let's get that built, and you'll note there is a potential flaw in this system. Depending on the timing of events here, in fact I'm just going to delete that now to be sure. <laughs> if bags came up through here and went across, they could get stuck in this tile here before... Okay, I'm also going to in introduce a new door so that my contractors can get in quickly. Okay, as it turns out, I would have got away with it, but <laughs> you can never be too sure. The fact I've said not to remove this is probably not going to be honored and they will come and delete this square in a moment. Okay, so what I was trying to say earlier was that if the bags had been coming along and got to this tile here before the other portion had been built, they would be left there and I would have to then try to build some way of picking up those bags and doing something with them. Thankfully the timing worked out for me on this occasion. So now we have tier one scanning and destruction of anything it deems suspicious. The fact that I have this one constructed now should mean I have a reduction in the number of dangerous bags getting onto planes. However, because I haven't built the second one yet, it's only a partial solution. And because I've only got tier one of security, it's definitely only a partial solution. Okay, our terminals 
building has been constructed. Let's actually start placing these. Um, I'm going to have it going that way. Good bags come out this side. Dangerous bags come out this side. And on this occasion, I'm going to put the bag destroyer down here. So for the moment, I'm going to keep it nice and simple and say anything coming down there gets destroyed. I've actually tried multiple times to rescue these bags, but they're stuck. So there's really nothing more I can do about it other than just hoping the game will figure it out at some point. You can see new bags coming in are getting through that tile without any problem whatsoever. But the game is just not recognizing that these bags are on a conveyor belt. This is one of the many reasons why when you're building baggage handling, I strongly advise you build the entire design from tier one to tier three with destruction before you ever enable your baggage service. Trying to adjust this while your baggage service is running is just a recipe for nightmares. With our tier one baggage security in place, I have cleared all previous notifications and you'll note that there are no new ones coming in at the moment. Eventually they will come in because tier one security isn't going to be 100% accurate. Periodically it's going to destroy a bag which should not have been destroyed. And that's where tiers two and three come in. Another thing the game has not warned us about is the need for belt loader trucks. Currently I have a need for four of them, but I have zero. Belt loader trucks cannot be purchased until you've done the research, so we'll need to start that straight away. Now if you're planning ahead, you would obviously do this before you enable your um, baggage service, otherwise you're going to have multiple planes getting delayed and possibly having to cancel flights because they can't load the bags. Thankfully, for medium flights, belt loaders only speed up the process. They are not strictly required, unlike with large flights. 